Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Color Medicine. This uh, video is a response uh, to Flo Eva TV. Did a video on relaxers and uh, children and that being tantamount to child abuse. She got quite a strong reaction, a strident uh, feedback from some people and um, as a result she made another video uh, in which she was uh, responding to that. The specific video that I'm uh, responding to is the one that says why I said ellipsis in the end, in which of course she is discussing the reaction of uh, some of her uh, viewers. Uh, with respect to the uh, previous video she had made on uh, relaxers. First of all, I just want to commend uh, you, Flo, for making uh, such uh, instructive videos. I think this uh, topic is long overdue and it is interesting to see a growing number of uh, people actually devoting uh, attention to this particular issue and I think it is very important, so I really commend you for that. One of the questions, of course, that uh, I kind of asked myself was are there any scientific studies that are being conducted or have been conducted uh, with respect to the impact of these uh, chemical relaxers that uh, are used a lot by uh, you know black women? Uh, even men do these these things as well. So, uh, and of course, particularly the children who are you know being subjected to these uh, chemicals. I actually kind of did a quick uh, a review just to find out if there are any studies and I only came across one particular study I guess it was called something like a black women's health uh, study and that was begun uh, back in I believe 1995 so 1995 96 back then this particular study was conducted by the universities of Howard and Boston and of course we do know that Howard University is an African American uh, university or is a historically uh, you know, African American University, and of course, Boston University is, a, of course, a state university, and they both uh, they jointly uh, conducted the study, and uh, their conclusion, of course, was that, and and they were actually looking at uh, specifically um, the ingredients, uh, not all ingredients, but some ingredients, like for example, uh, lye, as well as um, oxide. The study was completed and it was reported that um, they did not find a link between the you know, high rate of cancer among black women with respect to using the chemical hair relaxer. So according to that study, uh, there is no uh, connection between cancer and using um, chemical relaxers. Now I should point out that uh, point number one. Um, we have to look at uh, who actually paid for the study. I know that the fact that there is a you know Howard University there that does lend some credibility to the study. But who actually paid for the study? You know, uh, I, I I don't know. I couldn't. I, I was looking to find actually an original experimental you know uh, paper report uh, that would hopefully uh, tell us who actually paid for the study because that's very important. So if a pharmaceutical, for example, or some chemical company that makes uh, these hair products actually paid for the study, then obviously um, they are not going to publish uh, you know, things that are negative to, uh, to the product because it is the business. So that's one point. And the second point, we have to look at the methodology. This particular study, obviously, they used a questionnaire, a longitudinal study, uh, which, which is great, but they used a questionnaire, so that means that they basically provided forms to uh, something like uh, you know thousands of people. They actually uh, covered quite a wide range of people. It's almost 50,000 people that uh, were being tracked over a period of eight years. Uh, and now they were using um, the instrument there of testing was a questionnaire, so basically uh, finding out you know your lifestyle, uh, you know do you use uh, ke hair chemical chemical uh, relaxers as well as uh, you know the medical condition or health condition in terms of uh, cancer and so forth so that's basically what uh, what they did now a, a questionnaire is actually uh, not rated very high in terms of scientific uh, analysis right because um, you know you keep, you ask me some questions and I'll answer the questions according to how I feel because uh, you know 
you can't get inside me to find out how I feel, so I cannot tell you how I feel. But in this particular case, we're talking about health, so it seems to me that you know, if we do doing something like a blood analysis to find out that okay, if this person uses uh, this chemical relaxer, uh, what kind of impact does it have? You know, it it would seem more credible to me. But uh, using a questionnaire, I don't see that as a as, a, as an effective uh, instrument uh, in terms of trying to uh, understand the link between uh, you know cancer and hair relaxers. So I have a bit of an issue with respect to the uh, to the uh, to the methodology. So uh, so that's that's where it is as far as that is concerned. And um, oh, I should also point out that uh, uh, they only looked at two ingredients, as I previously mentioned. They looked at uh, lye as well as um, calcium uh, hydroxide, uh, but they didn't look at other. Uh, ingredients that we find in these uh, chemical relaxers and uh, these are known to be very powerful uh, caustic uh, uh, chemicals that do a lot of damage on the skin so I mean one of the things that I guess one of the effects of these uh, uh, chemicals is that they actually uh, cause um, some holes in the skin so meaning that uh, you know, if you apply these things on your skin, then your skin is not intact like a, a regular skin. So just to give you an example, if let's say a, a snake uh, was to spit on your skin, I'm just making an example here, so don't really worry too much about snakes here. But if you know uh, some kind of a venom was to uh, you know reach your skin, if the skin is not intact, so that means that uh, the venom will actually enter inside, and you actually you'll actually die from that. But uh, if your skin is intact, then it means that uh, you know there's a protection uh, from the skin. So I'm just making an example just to show that if you use hair relaxers, then it actually um, weakens the skin, and, and 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 the skin is not intact. So anything can go in, the, including the same product, because the same uh, chemicals do actually penetrate the skin because. Uh, the skin is not intact, so it's, there's not enough, there's no strong barrier to protect against these products. So we need to know what kind of effect they have. And uh, I find it unfortunate that uh, the, the major study that was carried out uh, actually didn't really do that, didn't look at, you know, uh, the chemistry, um, and the chemical effect, you know, that sort of stuff. So uh, I, I guess probably this is one of the problems that we face as uh, people of African descent in the sense that oftentimes things are being done by others on our behalf and, and so they don't really um, seem to have an interest in uh, you know ensuring that they do a thoroughgoing analysis that will help you know uncover uh, problems so that we can avoid them, improve our life lifestyles or change our lifestyles and uh, you sort of will have a better quality of life. So uh, for as long as other people do things on our behalf, uh, we are not really going to make a lot of progress. So I guess one of the challenges is that we need to have, uh, you know, scientists, uh, African-American scientists, uh, doctors that can actually have an interest and of course budget as well in doing these studies. And that way we will make more progress. I just want to say Flo, Eva, that uh, you're doing a great job and I have the greatest respect for what you do so keep on doing what you're doing. It's very important to have an awareness on these issues. Uh, I know that we don't know all the facts right now because uh, we lack that scientific study but uh, but we need to raise the alarms anyways. Okay, thank you. Thank you.